Good day, this is Nelka again. I am busy with my Facebook when suddenly somebody sent me an email again regarding his work. Yeah, work, work, work. And up to now, the, his work is still rendering. Look at that. This is his project. I open it and now it's not responding. Okay, at first I thought he has very small file because I received a file from his email and it's only 7.2 MB. 7.2 MB is, is nothing. It's a peanut in my computer because I have a very, I would say, powerful computer. But when I try to render it and open it, oh my god this is what I discovered and I will close it now because it's not responding anymore close 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 and then let's open it again I know there are lots of beautiful 3d files there but don't get so excited to get all those beautiful 3d files and put it in your project you know why because it will really take your memory especially those files that ha that has lots of details and really big file see right now it's not still not loading so i would like to suggest to get a file or 3ds file that has only 1 mb below you can go for 2 mb but more than that it's a no-no so now I open his file and look at that you should not put lots of basket cart or trolleys in your project it looks good yeah I may use this one in my own project later on yeah this is nice also this 3d people are very good and this troll is amazing I like it thank you for this 3d files I will uh, use it and for your problem, I cannot do anything about it. I will just suggest to you to remove these crazy trolleys and people. It is really heavy. And these people who was calling on his phone, this is gorgeous. But <laughs> you don't need this one. You can use the file, the, the people file from 3D, from Dialux Evo, the default one. And if you are working in a grocery store, like I think this one is a grocery store, this is not the right <laughs> calculation st style. This is this is totally wrong. There's there's other way to do that. And most supermarkets are big, huge, and you cannot do that in one calculation. It's a no-no. I think you should uh, understand how to run a calculation or to do a calculation properly not all project you need to put 3d files and not all project you need to do it in one full shot like for example you're working in a mall project you cannot uh, calculate the whole mall or maybe the whole office building maybe some some office building you can do by layer or by stories but if it has lots of object it's a totally no 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 so when I start calculating this one, it takes like maybe 30 minutes still not finishing. And then when I touch it, it's, it's no longer responding. So what I can do right now, I will try to remove these people. Because I tried it using these people and they are not working. Okay, so I removed um, most of your heavy objects. Though uh, the reason your computer set insufficient memory is because of these objects. So please take note of that. Don't be too excited with these beautiful objects. It will kill your computer. Um, if I'm not mistaken, so this is a supermarket. And how to do a calculation for this one is you really need to put the shelf instead of the cart. The shelves are the more important object in calculating a supermarket and you need to have a vertical and horizontal calculation points because your your merchandise is in a vertical view so you need to have a nice vertical elimination okay i finished calculating now this room 
and I got 288 locks on the horizontal surface and 177 locks for the vertical. This lux level is not good for a supermarket. It should be at least 800 lux for vertical and uh, horizontal. So this is wrong. If you want to create a building or a room, because you said you mentioned that you're looking for the assessment, assessment zone. So when I check this assessment zone, it's not here. I cannot find it. You know why? Because you don't have room. Maybe you can do it like like here, you can create a new one. Select the rectangular one, the rectangular assessment zone, and create it like this. And um, yeah, you can have it, and you can say the height of the room is maybe three meters, if you like. Maybe this one is 3.5, yeah. And then you can select it like maybe a, it is not, giving us the, the option for the indoor lighting because you don't have building these are all for outdoors see farms building sites blah 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 so i think you need to learn a lot of things first but I, I would like to give you the insight or the overview or the basic of how to create the building you need to go to the new building tab and then create your exterior wall like this if this is your area and then draw your indoor contour which is the thickness of your room and then if you like to have uh, let's edit it properly if you really like to have a door i mean i put your object files in my building so i will say the height of the room is four meters now this is five. Oh, this is high huh? And then let's go inside. Now your objects, the the doors, uh, the doors, the walls, and the objects that you created are now inside the room. From there, you can now select your assessment zone. See if I want to click it now, it will say room, and then it will tell you what kind of room is this. Is it a retail office or library or museums or whatever? Say this is a retail, and then say this is a sales area, and you can say. 0.8 working plane so from here since we created now your room you can edit now your assessment zone but uh, on your previous design we cannot do that because you don't have a room but we created assessment zone unfortunately it's for outdoor only so um, yeah I think you need to learn a lot of things for now so I want to see you progressing so I would like to suggest to go to the dial lux channel don't go to my channel yet you are a baby still <laughs> i would say don't get offended yeah you're starting i think it's a um, lighting designer is really a fun work and it's for me it's fulfilling like like a noble profession it's and it's really exciting but you need to learn it from very basic first my tutorials are a little bit advanced and uh, if you want to go for basics then go to the dialux channel they have very good um, videos on how to, look, to use dialux evo on a basic approach because they will tell you how to do it one by one so yeah so congratulations you take the first step but your first step is on the advanced step already so please go to uh, dialogue evo channel first and uh, watch all the videos and um, study it and practice it and meanwhile i saw the files that because i'm curious with the 3d file that you sent me i love it so i go to the 3d 3d archive this is the channel that i mentioned in my previous videos and I found that the card is only 473k it's small in your I think it's small but sometimes this 473k is in the zip file and zip file is the one appearing in this um, information and so when I downloaded it because you can download it and you can say yeah okay download and then when I downloaded it it's it's okay see it's in the zip file and when I open it 
it's fine it's only 260 kb so this uh, card is it's okay it's very good it's only 260 kb so it will uh, not affect your project much but i think the only problem is you made it too much you put a lot of card and you put a lot of people that's why so um yeah so i would like to congratulate you and i would like you to go further send me an email if you are now in advance <laughs> or maybe intermediate level okay so that's it for now and good luck and see you again soon bye